Well, Louisville Metro Planning and Design is set to take up a potential amendment that would address charitable gaming locations. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us why one nonprofit says their future is still in the air till Metro government does something about it. Shirley's Way charitable gaming founder Mike Mulrooney fears for the future of his nonprofit. It would strap us big time. Shirley's Way and their three locations take profits from state regulated casino style games and turn them into charity. But they don't really fit into a category under Louisville's land development code. Mulrooney wants that changed. If the zoning changes pass, which is what we want, it would give us the ability to put our gaming machines in multiple locations, just like some of the other entertainment folks here in town. Mulrooney says he still has a lot of questions about the future of charitable gaming in Louisville, though with the help of Metro government and those inside of it, he is hopeful that that outlook can be a positive one. We did not have a clearly defined um, definition of charitable gaming. Metro Council member Cindy Fowler has spearheaded an effort to define charitable gaming. As the code is written now, it's up for interpretation and it's being interpreted as a game room like an arcade would. And it's allowed in what's called a C2 commercial zone, but not the C1 zone that she believes would allow Shirley's Way to continue to thrive. They just do so much good for the community, and we can't afford to lose them. Mulrooney's also worried about a new state law that puts charitable gaming under the umbrella of the Horse Racing Commission. We really don't know. We're kind of sitting here waiting to see what's going to happen, and we're trying to be part of the process is what we're trying to do. Um, so we're, we're hoping that they won't affect this because we're doing too much good right now. Mulrooney hopes the Horse Racing Commission will work with him and not against him. In Sean Bowdy, Wave News.